Good morning guys and welcome back to another daily vlog. a.m. right now on a Friday morning and I'm getting ready. I just got dressed, took Princey out for a little walk. I'm wearing this really casual but cute and comfortable outfit. Also, I look bald. I don't know why, but I have my hair up in a little low bun because I've just been really into wearing it like that lately. I don't know why I never went through this phase until now, but it's just easy and I don't even have to do my hair. This is just like my air dried hair. I didn't even have to style it. So it's just like the easiest hairstyle and I've just been wearing it like this all the time recently. Um, but I'm making coffee right now. I made Lyle some coffee and now I'm going to make some coffee for myself, but I wanna ice it. I talked to you guys about this last time in the last vlog. I'm into iced coffees and iced lattes, anything like that. Um, and I always would have to buy them from like a cafe, but now I'm trying to figure out how to do it at home. So all I've been doing is pretty much making coffee and putting it in the free uh, the fridge for like maybe an hour, 30 minutes if I can. If I can wait an hour, I'll do an hour and then I'll just turn it into like an iced coffee. So I'm about to make myself some coffee and put it in the fridge and then work. It's Friday, end of a work week. Not really for me because I work seven days a week, but um, I have some work to get done and then we're just probably gonna do something after work I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but bringing it with me all day I also wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I haven't done that in a really long time and I've Been actually buying a lot of things recently and I was gonna do a little haul of things I bought and also gifting that I've received so I can share with you guys I haven't done a haul in a vlog in a really long time and I figured I could do that um, yeah, so just going through the day today with me on this wonderful Friday. Okay guys, I want to take a second and quickly share something with you. Earlier this week, someone asked me on Instagram what shampoo and conditioner I use or like what I use on my hair in the shower. And I was actually going to share that with you in this vlog. Thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. I've been using Function of Beauty on and off for over a year now. I've used several different formulations depending on what my hair needed at that time, but right now I've been using something for my 
long bleached highlighted hair my hair can get really dry and frizzy and i like also maintaining the blonde color and not letting it get too brassy or anything like that so online on their website you can take a little quiz and you can pretty much pick anything it's so customizable you can pick the scent the color the formulation what you want it to target what your goal is with your hair and i've been using the shampoo conditioner and the hair mask and it's really cute because it even has your name on every single product. I think it's so cute and aesthetic, but it also works really well. After using these products, I found my hair to just be less frizzy. Also, the color is more blonde and less brassy looking. I feel like my hair is really hydrated, especially after using the hair mask. In my last wash, I didn't use a conditioner, but instead I used the hair mask because I've been in the sun a lot lately. And I felt like my hair was a little bit more dry and fragile than usual and I wanted to quench that thirst and keep it really hydrated and less frizzy. Another reason why I like the brand is they only use clean ingredients and it's dermatologist tested so you know you're not going to have any crap and gunk in your products or in your hair. I was able to get you guys 20% off your order if you use the link in my description. If you've ever tried Function of Beauty, comment down below and let me know kind of your experience with the brand. Or if you haven't tried it out before and you try it out now, let me know if you love it. Okay, I feel like the lighting in my closet is absolute trash right now because the door is right here and that's the only light in my closet. I mean, I have the closet light on, but I guess it's not enough. I don't know. I hope you guys can see me. It's hard to tell on the screen, but let's do a little haul. What's first? Okay, spotted this. I got this little Balenciaga sports bra and i think it's really cute was it overpriced yes but knowing myself this is the type of stuff i would wear all the time so i would get so many wears out of it and i guess in my mind it like was worth it um i also got this cute set that i wore yesterday i showed you guys on instagram let me see where the bottoms are it's like these cute it's ribbed it's this black set i'll have everything linked down below for you guys as well but it's this black like ribbed set and here's the matching little crop top and it's so cute so comfortable and it fit really well it looked so nice while it was like giving me compliments all day and i'm like okay i like this one then i'm gonna wear it more often i did a little zara haul i mean a little zara shopping trip i don't shop at zara too much but i buy basics from there and like their jeans i really really like because they always just fit me so well. I don't know what it is. Certain styles of Zara jeans just work so well for me and my body. So um, I usually get jeans from there or like staple pieces because I don't feel like spending like $300 on a tank top, like a basic tank top. So I got this little black tank top from Zara. And then I also got this top from Zara too. Crop top. Wait, I'm holding too much stuff. It's like crop top again off the shoulder and it just has this like tie detail around the neck. I think it's really cute. I haven't worn this one yet, but I have worn the first one and I love it. Um, what else do we get? Got this white set. Also, it's like this ribbed. I've been wearing so many like sets here and I just think they're so easy to wear because the top and the bottom are already kind of picked out for you. And I've been loving these like stretchy, like ribbed sets because they're so comfortable. So I got these long pants, they're like flared pants and with the matching like cardigan top. And I feel like with this, my vision was to just have like one button buttoned and then the rest open. It would be kind of like a little bit sexy. It's crop top or a cropped cardigan with like long flared sleeves. I think this is really cute. So I'm excited to wear that. This set that I'm wearing is also new. I love that it's it's a matching two-piece set again. It's this baby blue color tube top. It's like a terry fabric and it comes with the shorts. Um, I love that they're high-waisted. I just love the way this fits. I think it's so cute. I got the matching set in white, but I don't feel like bringing it out right now. But it looks identical to this. We got these two oversized boyfriend shirts. This is like a pretty like lilac color. And then this one's like a coral color. I'm really excited to wear both. I don't, I don't know, maybe Miami's changing me. I'm not a big color person, but I'm playing with color here and there where I feel like comfortable. But um, I 
I've never been a big color person. My Zara order, I also got this matching two-piece set. It's like this blue kind of tube top, but this ties around the neck. And then it also comes with the matching high-waisted pants right here. I don't feel like taking them out, but this was super cute and looks really good on and I'm excited to wear it. Oh, I got this dress from Rat and Boa, I believe is the brand. I think this is so pretty. It's like this flower detail, but it's blue at the top and then it's black and then it's the flower again. It's cow front and then a really, really low back. It's so sexy. I put this on, I'm like obsessed. <laughs> it was so pretty. Um, and I'm really excited to wear it. The front, like where your boobs are, you can't really see anything. I was worried about that because it's kind of so see-through, but it's double layered at the front, so you couldn't see anything. And I'm like, thank goodness, because now I can actually wear it. And I got these heels from Consignment, and I'm obsessed. These were like out probably like, I don't know, two, three, four years ago, I don't remember, but I love them. I used to have my eye on them and I got such a good deal on them from The Real Real, so steal. They're the Balenciaga, I think, knife heels. They're just so cute. I really feel like I would actually wear these a lot in the fall and winter here in Miami where we don't really wear boots, but I still got a pair of boots. Got these from The Real Real as well. They're like these Givenchy boots and I feel like even though I live somewhere warm now, I still need winter pieces because traveling, you know, you're not always going to be in hot places. And I also figured I could wear these in Miami in the winter time with like shorts or something. Um, my style's going to be so different here in the winter. It's kind of wild because I lived in New York for five years and our winters were so cold. I could never even wear anything like this. God forbid in the snow, I would like literally look so disheveled and not cute in the winter because it would be all about comfort and safety <laughs> and not being cute so it's gonna be so different now i also got this really long black see-through maxi dress with the low like back cutout detail really love this and the sleeves are like flared love that i've been buying a lot of dresses because honestly when i moved here i had no dresses I just didn't wear dresses in my uh, in New York ever. And now that I'm here, I feel like I want to wear dresses, but I, I didn't have any, so I've been buying a lot of dresses. Oh, I got so many of these like black, not black, I got them in different colors, but these tube dresses are double layered, so they're like actually really thick. And it's just like a tube dress. You know those like fitted tube dresses and it hits just below the knee, not too long, not too short either. Um, and these are just like so comfortable to wear like if we're going out to dinner lunch You can dress them up down walking the dog like it's just casual or you can dress it up for kind of something more um, Dressy, but I really like how comfortable they are and yeah love that I got it in gray white black blue I believe also got these two new decor pieces. I wanted to show you guys. This is like a candle holder it's really heavy and really good quality. I think it was like cement, um, but it's so pretty. And this kind of glass vase with this, I don't know, detail. to share something with you guys i forgot to tell you earlier but if you're not part of the vip family for my clothing line you definitely should join i'm gonna have the number right here you just have to text this number and then you kind of join the vip family and you get text when there's like limited time discounts on pieces or um, when there's drops coming or like exclusive launches and you also have access to like one-on-one -on -one tech support so if you have any questions about sizing or when something might be coming back in stock or anything like that I would love for you guys to all be a part of it but yeah that's all I had to say for now I wanted to make sure you guys knew about our little VIP family if you follow me on social you definitely have heard about it um, but it's sunny, it's hot, but it's not too hot where I can't work out here. Um, I love being out here. I don't know what it is. It's just so nice. So
so I'm gonna do some work out here and at this part in the day the Sun is above our building and behind our building it's no longer in the front on the balcony so I can actually see my computer screen and get work done um, so I'm about to do that and then La was saying we might go down to the pool for a little bit in a sec for like an hour and just take a little break and then come back and finish work so we'll see we'll see if we do that p.m. and I'm gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. So I try to do a big haul like once every couple of weeks and we try not to eat out too much but like on weekends or certain nights we obviously will grab food out but I try to cook at home a lot so this is a lot of the stuff we eat. Obviously a lot of fruits and veggies. I love that cereal for Lyle. This garlic non bread we've really been into and I'll like put it on the stove and like with a little bit of butter we'll like kind of grill it in a way and it's so good and toasty. Fruits, fruits, veggies. La loves Frank's so I get him Frank's every time. Frank's with beans. I also got beans but I got different types of beans because they're out of the beans I usually get him. Veggies, we have corn, grapes, peppers, Love the broccoli cheddar soup and this hummus is so good. I have an obsession with pickles and that's also why I get this pickle chips, pickle chips, potato chips, yeah. And I wanted to try these out. They're new. These are some of my favorites. I love having snacks to snack on when I want to. This is my first time grabbing these, so I'm excited to try these. Love goat yogurt, goat milk, goat anything, goat cheese. <laughs> And then this one is Lyle's. He likes the Greek one, I get the goat. Cherries, love. Rice, need lots of that. Milk, and that's all Lyle. Dairy milk is all Lyle. I'm the almond milk person, right babe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, these are new and I felt like I needed to try. They look really good. They're breadless, so that looks really good. These I've been getting like for years. And then this French toast I've never had before and it looked too good to pass. This rice I'm obsessed with. Brussels sprouts, eggs, onions, a couple of juices. What is this? I think this one's like a protein. I got you this protein one, babe. And then Lau really got me into avocado oil for cooking. So I've been getting that and use it more than olive oil now. Lau loves this barbecue sauce. So they have chips. They have the chip version oh, yeah. that just came out. So I figured you could try it because you love that sauce. 
I get um, chicken breast, boneless and skinless for Prince. I make him like a batch like this and it'll last him like a week, a week and a half and I put in his food. Papaya, love papaya. I get these shots too. I think I got turmeric and then this cherry one. Avocado oil spray, maple syrup for the toast and then this tricky chili. Since I couldn't get um, the beans that I love, I got this tricky chili instead with beans. And yeah, I actually think that's it. So that is kind of like our two week grocery haul. Speaking of, oh, the way. Thank you. This is unreal. So good. You guys have to come. 